Hi, this is Bob Krause at Missouri s and I want to talk to you today about using nested select statements in your SQL queries. Basic SQL skills for making your Maximo reports uh, more reader friendly. Let's take a look at this report here. This basically is a, a, this is a labor report and including labor code, craft, ref woe, location, start date, and regular hours <clears throat> for some uh, different workers here. And this is all basically coming from the lab trans table. Now if I were to print this out and give this to somebody, they may not be able to understand completely what's going on here. Uh, they may not know who these people are by just their labor code. And probably more certainly, they wouldn't know under location what building or rooms these are that the person performed work in. As you can see here, if you just select, here it's select labor code and location from LabTrans, it's going to go into each record, grab those fields, and put them into the report. This is not very reader friendly. What we want to do today is we want to make this report a little more reader friendly and that is by grabbing more information. Now the lab trans records themselves do not hold some of the information that we're going to need to know or need to display. Let's take a look at this report and you can see that we've improved it by instead of the labor code uh, there's their full name last comma first. Also we have a description here and uh, this is definitely easier to read. Uh, the science building, ground floor, machinery room one, cafe, fourth floor, fan room one, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to use nested SQL statements inside our SQL query in order to uh, grab this information. As you can see from this diagram, here's my lab trans table with the labor code and location like we had before. And instead of just feeding those into the report, what we're going to do is we're going to use a SQL nested statement to go out and grab some other information for me. Now in order for it to do that, there has to be information such as the labor code that has to match something inside this other table. Now the person table is where the, the names are and other information uh, about a person, their uh, phone number, their uh, email address, etc. Now I know that the person ID field inside this table is the same as the labor code inside this table. So if I were to take that information, labor code, such as J. Doe for Jonathan Doe, and have uh, SQL go to this table and find a match, and if it does find a match, <clears throat> then grab another field off of that record and then return that. So here, labor code is going to match with a field called person ID inside the person table. Once it finds that record, what I want it to do is grab another field, information out of a field called display name, and that's the last comma first name. And take that and then we'll feed that into our labor report. The same thing over here with location. I have that location, that 077-G, etc., etc., cryptic location. I know that that matches up with um, a field called location in the locations table. And if I match, um, if SQL matches that up, it will then go to that record and then pull information called from a field called description and take that and then feed it into my report. So the way we do that is using nested SQL statements. If you see here, here above is a SQL statement saying select and then this next part here in parentheses we're saying okay I want you to go out here match this up and grab this information from me, for me from this other table. So just select display name from person where the person ID equals labtrans.laborcode. So this here is the matching part. And then again, select display name. That is, once they match up, that's what we're going to grab and bring back. We're going to return with that. On the right-hand side here, select description from locations 
where the location equals labtrans.location. Again, labtrans, uh, location equals labtrans.location is what matches it up. And then once we find that record, grab the description. Now for both of these, the last part of these lines are what uh, uh, just assist, the, assist us in giving a name to this. So here I've just chosen um, as labor name. You can put anything here. You can type anything here. But generally I type something that kind of makes sense. You know, I'm getting a display name I, and it's from the lab trans labor code. And so I'm going to call it labor name over here description from locations where location equals lab translocation and I call it lock desk or loc desk location description. Now once I have that then I finish up my SQL statement I'm gonna pull from lab trans because that's the main table that I'm using and then um, I can put in a where clause. But now uh, this report becomes reader friendly so here you can see labor name was pulled from the person um, database. A lock disk was pulled from the locations uh, table. I'm sorry, table to table. And uh, now we have a more readable report. What I want to show you now is I'm going to bring up uh, Bert. As you can see here, I'm in the report designer. And what I have here is I have my um, my report here that I'm working on. As you can see here, here's my select statement uh, in BERT. And I have here select, I want lab trans labor code, comma. And here I've already put in the one for the labor name. Select display name from person where person ID equals lab trans dot labor code as labor name. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, second uh, query. As you recall, that was to get the location description. So I'm going to go ahead and add a line. And I'm going to open up no. parens, select. Now what we want to select here is description from, from locations. locations. And where where the location equals location dot lab um, I'm sorry lab trans location sorry about that lab trans dot location so here we're going to grab the description from locations and where location equals lab trans uh, dot location and we're going to name that as lock desk and then we need a comma and I'll put in my space and then my quotes. So everything looks good at this point. Now once I have this, of course I have to uh, fill out everything else that we need for our report. First of all, I have this. I need to also um, set up my data set so that it'll pull that in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on data set over here, go to edit, and go to output columns and I need to put in here um, lock desk as a string. I'm going to go OK. So I have lock desk here. I have now lock desk as a string and I need to go into my fetch here, my fetch statement. And since it's a string, basically we're going to use one of these type statements here, row and it'll be lock desk, maximo data set, get string so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this, control C, come down to the bottom, enter, control V. And then one of the little tricks here is if you double click on this, it will highlight just what's inside the, the quotes. And you can go ahead and, and put it in. And same here. And let's see, there's lock desk, there's lock desk, that's good go back to my open just to make sure and I have lock desk and everything looks good so far alright now I can go to my layout and add that in so I'm gonna go ahead and pop over to the layout and you can see here uh, I still have location so I'm gonna go ahead and, and pull that get rid of that 
and I'm going to go over here to lock disk and I'm just going to drag that and drop it into my um, of course I've lost all my formatting so let's see um, if I click over here I see I have 10 10 points and I'm left um, so 10 points there we go and left aligned and I can call it location these are just labels up here so I could type anything that I want but that's good location that's good start date regular hours again I have my labor name and my craft let's go ahead and see how it plays I'm just gonna go over here to the preview tab and click and see if I blow anything up no it worked perfectly yay okay so here's my labor name it's gone and grabbed Jonathan Doe out of my um, person table there's a craft may or may not need that anymore here's my ref woe and here's my locations and start date and regular hours so it went out and grabbed uh, the name the display name from persons uh, person table uh, the uh, description from the location table and everything's good so once again uh, this was using nested select statements for making your Maximo reports more reader friendly there are more tables that you can do that with uh, we didn't go into uh, the work description from the work order number if you use the ref woe and lined it up or matched it up with the woe num from the work orders table then you can go in there and grab the description uh, the craft if you went in you could also link up the craft there's many possibilities um, I do want to just show you how you find these fields and this is just a real quickie here but I just want to let you know um, let's see here let me go ahead and open up um, my Maximo and I do have a development uh, site which is real handy and nice I can play around and here I am and I'm going to go into uh, real quick into labor here and let me just grab this one guy actually let me grab uh, John Doe the one that we had so J Doe here he is <clears throat> okay now when you're looking at this I just want to show you what uh, how you can figure things out I know this is my labor my labor code is here if I click on it and press alt F1 I'm going to get field help and it's saying that this is labor dot labor code that is the name of that field and that's the table that it resides in uh, the person down below here if I press alt F1 you can see here that that's the person ID inside the labor now you know all the fields are available in that way I mean the work site the description beside it etc etc I do want to point out though down here is another section called personal if you go here uh, click on that and press all off one you'll notice that this is not in the labor table at all it's in the person table it's called first name here so this is first name this is last name and here Alt F1 this is my person dot display name so this is what I was grabbing so basically what I was saying is hey this is my labor code I want you to go to the persons table match that up for me and then grab this information right here and bring it back so that's how that works and that's how you can figure it out um, if you don't know what the name of it is I don't I don't know the name of all these but it's easy to find out you just basically click on it salt F1 and oh this is person dot primary email so now I know what to grab and I can return that um, in a report well thank you so much for watching again this is uh, Bob Krauss with Missouri S&T uh, using nested select statements